Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. Terrence Bud Crawford, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. He also can crack at welterweight. One of the best to ever do it. It'll be ding ding from first off. They're off. So now let's go into the ring for the official introductions. Here's the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner. From New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, introducing Sugar Ray Robinson. Hiding out of the blue corner from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three-division champion of the world, Terrence. Bud Crawford. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. This is it. This is that place. This is that, that fight venue. This is the place where the action happens. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. Let's go. We're underway in round one. Punch. Both men step back for just a moment. A perfect counter lands. Better be careful, the referee may take a point if he keeps clinching. Hey, those punches add up. So much hype surrounding this match, I wonder if it can actually live up to the hype. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And look in that corner right there, that is that fighter right there. They have elevated, lifted, it's like they're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. No power in those punches. And threw the hook, didn't land. round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go they've got the momentum they've got the advantage how do they carry that into the next round i seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't there's going to be absolute uproar and there's the bell to start round two Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Good left counter that lands. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Left shot lands. Going back to life now, starting to land some punches. So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. A 
counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little trick you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. That one lands. Their bell rung. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance, without a doubt, make look so so easy. Get it started in round three. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. as these two fighters start to feel each other out. One will probably rely more on their speed than their power. Oh my goodness, that little Yorkshire Terriers, they're never going to give up. Nice counter shot with the right hand. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Even if they land, are going to do no damage. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. Good counter punching from both these fighters. And he fails to score with that left hook. Seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in. Crawford's legs are all over the place. But Crawford is on the canvas. next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. I love the response though. Got back up. Took a deep breath. Got right. Push it off. Get on with the job. Here's the bell to start round four. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's gonna hustle him. He's gonna, he's gonna bluff him. Good one. That punch lands. I think it's safe to say well, his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. That left scores. Perfect counter shot. 
parries away that left hook. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. Could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating, just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Nice punch. They score again. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Bell was sweet music to his ears. The bell sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Here we go in round five. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. He just misses with that jab. Crawford just got rocked. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use... Crawford may be ready to go down. And down goes Crawford. Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Good left hand. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Good counter punch. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Here we go in the sixth round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything. Full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Coming back to life now. Starting to land some punches. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. Counter left hand there. Crawford in trouble. He somehow weathered the storm. That left counter was perfectly timed. Nice counter shot. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Trigger happy. 
because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. 